Okay. Uh, this episode, I think, is going to be a lot of theater of the mind. I don't have a lot prepped. You don't have a full Area 51 built for us? Come on! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, um, any whom, uh, I think we will actually start off with, uh, Joeza, who is currently in lockup. Yep. A little while come, a uh, little time passes, and eventually, um, the, that general walks in again carrying a suitcase and sets it on the ground so you're still not going to talk with me giving him a cold stare well that's okay and he sort of uh, crouches down on his uh, you know he does the thing where he sort of crouches down haunches on his knees uh, and says We'll find out one way or another why you're here. We've done it before. And we have our tools. He reaches over to the uh, briefcase and he opens it up. Um, let me tell you, I've learned a lot in my, uh, in my time doing this job. And even though my predecessor, General Dennings, uh, has retired... I've still picked up a few of his tricks, and boy, let me tell you, he reaches in and he picks up a scalpel, and he says, Not a lot's changed since Roswell. And he sort of brandishes it at you menacingly. Is that a, uh, a knife for cutting food? No. It is not a knife for cutting food. Hmm. Interesting. Now, what's the meaning of that little, uh, gold piece on your ears? Some kind of military insignia? And he just stays there, staring at him. Right, I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. And he looks like he's about to do something with the knife, but then the door opens and uh, a younger soldier walks in and he says, uh, General Wainwright, uh, you're needed. <sighs> Saved by the bell. And he stands up, he turns around, and he leaves. Meanwhile, we pick up with uh, Dr. Maselli in the... <clears throat> OMG, I love it. What part? Oh, the cake. Cake is for talkers. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, we pick up with Dr. Maselli, who is currently in the office of uh, Gary Seven. All right, so what is our next step? Um, she asks Gary. Well, there are a number of ways we could go about this. We could either put ourselves down outside of, uh, outside of the facility and try to work our way in. Uh, there's an issue with... Uh, there would be an issue with transporting in and out, however. Don't tell me they have transporter inhibitors. Uh, an interference shield of sorts. Uh, how did they manage to acquire that? They've acquired a lot of alien technology over the years. Uh, of course. They don't understand all of it, but... They've put together enough to put up a very rudimentary signal scattering field around the area. Uh, 
they wouldn't know that it pro uh, prohibits beaming in and out. The idea of uh, D and rematerialization is a foreign concept to them. It's more of just a consequence of the technology. Okay. But that's something you could use to your advantage, so to speak. What do you mean? Uh, well, since it's so rudimentary, you could probably punch a hole in it to beam in. It'd be much harder to get out. You'd have to punch a hole in it from the other side. That, uh, that sounds like a good start of a plan. Punch in, uh, send and away team in to rescue him. Um... Uh, the away team rescues him, uh, breaks down the field, and then we beam out. Right. It's going to be a dangerous mission. Uh -huh. What else is new? <sighs> well, I guess in that case, uh, we're going to need a bit more assistance with this. I should be back by now. And then, like, you hear the door opening, and hang on, let me, uh, let me actually pull out, uh, let me pull us over to the Theater of the Mind, uh, page, hang on, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, no. Hey, apparently someone else is here. Shh. Totally cleaned, um... I'm going to put down some tokens. It's uh, Hadfield, Hadfield. So you're there, Doc. Captain's there, technically. Um, good old Gary is there. Uh, and after a couple of minutes, um. Uh, or as he's sort of saying that, uh, you hear the door uh, open, and a woman comes in carrying uh, a bunch of bags, uh, uh, like shopping bags, uh, and she sets them down on the table. Ah, Gary, I'm back. Ah, Ms. Lincoln, welcome back. We have company. Uh, hello. Uh, I, I, I am... Uh, Dr. Vaselli from I Italy, and you are? This is Ms. Roberta Lincoln, and he turns to uh, uh, Ms. Lincoln and says, They're some of Kirk's people. Oh. You, you can't just tell people that. You gotta keep this secret. This is my protege. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice to meet you then. She was there when we met Kirk for the first time. Okay. So she is aware of the existence of aliens and extraterrestrials. It did take a bit of explaining. But now she's one of my steadfast allies. Uh, okay then. Now, uh, I suppose we'll want to figure how, uh, I suppose you'll want to confer with your own ship as to, uh, the plan you wish to enact. That, uh, that sounds like, that sounds like the next logical step. I will, uh, we will, uh, beam up and contact you when we have something in mind. And I'll tap my communicator and say, uh, Miss Sally to transport their room to the beam up. And do to do, it's most used. And the two of you beam out. Hey. And you reappear in the. Where is it? Transporter room. Transporter room. Uh, only the lock isn't there. Let's 
you Jacoby and you Miss Ellie. And you're back on the pad. Nice. Okay. Um. Uh. I'll tap my the key again. Uh, oh, and uh, I, I just heard back from uh the captain. Uh, he's going to be quite late. Uh, apparently, some kind of emer- family emergency. Or I don't know if it's a family emergency. Just uh, so, some kind of emergency. Okay. Gotcha. Well, okay, your life comes from. He just um, said NPC him for now. So I will do that. That's fine. I will uh, tap my communicator. Um, uh, Miss Ellie to Vlock. Um... Could I speak to you for a moment? Of course, Doctor. <laughs> Actually, perhaps it would be best if we just assemble the senior staff to uh, rediscuss our option. Very well. I'll call a meeting in the conference room. Great idea. In that case, I will pull us to the conference room map. Uh... Awesome. It's all set up perfectly. We have we discussed um, uh, a, a plan with our ally. Um, um, out of character, GM, he said that uh, Juiz is being held at Area 51, right? Yes. Uh, they, okay. The U.S. government was able to recover from uh from the area in question, um, uh, the the quote unquote alien and the cargo that he was carrying. All right. So I assume she's standing still in like the 1960s dress. Yes. With, like a, a map of the United States and Canada open, um, pointing to Nova Scotia and then to Nevada and explaining that. So the United States, one of the countries of this time period, appears to have strong armed the alien from Canada, a different country of this era, um, and transported him all the way over to here, um, to their secret base called Area 51. Um, uh, uh, um, And they have a field a damp a dampening field around the area that would prevent transports however um it it should be possible to break a hole through to a uh, beam down and then once we're down there break a hole um there to beam back up i think our best plan is to send a away team down there um to break a hole um and then split up and look for him perhaps we could uh uh, figure that we can use scanners to locate him first. Um, I sent two teams down, one to disable the field, one to locate him, and then we can both beam back up. It seems like a good plan. We will have to, um, be very careful while down there. Disturbing the events of this era can be quite problematic. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, um, I, the lock, I, I, I believe, the lock and Rugan, I believe you would be the best bits to research this field and how we could puncture through it or try to sense for a Jewish. I would, I would concur, Doctor. Uh... <laughs> It might be best uh, if we undergo some changes here to disguise ourselves as best we can. Yes. Uh, Adopting military disguises might be the best for all of us. Yes, we'll have to research uh, this period more. Perhaps our a new ally can give us more information on that as well. So, 
sounds like a good idea. Uh, does anyone have anything else to add? Very well. <laughs> I guess not. I guess they're AFK or something. Uh, uh, Rugan, got anything? You, you there? Yes, um, um, I did not actually think I was there. Yeah, this is a whole senior staff meeting. Yeah, I called one, sir. Um, <laughs> right, sorry, I missed that bit. Oh, um, we're still on Earth. Check <laughs> um, out the ship. Should be paying attention. Yeah, that's good idea. Well, as it stands, I do believe the thing to think about the most is a way to get out of that field. Once we should be able to get through from one side using the ship easily enough, but getting back out would be the tricky part. I of course. We, we all have to do our best to take down that field or find a way to punch back through it. I agree. Um, uh, how about we delegate? Um, Vlock, you could look into how we can punch out or punch into the um the shielding. Uh I will look into surgically modifying the two of you to blend in better and creating disguises. Ugan, you could use the sensors to try to locate um um locate uh Jubeza in the complex. Um and uh Tav perhaps you could assemble a security team. I guess we don't have a uh, chief of security at the moment. Indeed, an excellent plan, I believe. I concur. Um, I believe we should get to it. <laughs> All right. I think that's the end of the meeting then. Very well. Uh, Captain stands up and he says, I'll be in my ready room if you need me. He heads off to his ready room. Cool. Yes, we have a few things to do. Hmm. Uh, so, what do you guys want to work on first? Um, well, uh, probably, I'd say figuring out what their field is. Yeah. Hmm. Gotta punch a hole in. So, yeah, figure that out, possibly. Uh, Maselli, you might want to put yourself on push to talk. Your typing is pretty loud. My bad. Um, yep, figure out their field, then uh, possibly find out where Joyce oops, is. Let me take some threat. Know. Oh yeah, gotta have your threat. Have my threat? I only have ten of it, though, because the captain is not doing anything right now. Oh yeah. So. Um, you are gonna have to make a... Uh, <clears throat> uh, you're gonna have to make a insight science assisted by the ship's sensors science with a difficulty of three. Which brings it back down to two because you've got the sensors. Cool. I'm going to assume my transporter replicator focus applies. Uh, insight science, you see. Yeah, this is going to be a sensor's role to study the uh, to study the inhibitor field or the nope. scattering field. Uh, can can we? 
only do one thing each, or can we kind of all split it? Well, this is going to just be to... Oh, yeah. And the ship. Someone roll the ship. I will do that. Yeah. The, the actual check to bust through the shield will be an engineering check. This is, this is this is yeah. This is to give you guys an advantage of um, you you've analyzed the shield and you think you have a good way to punch through it. Okay, uh, you generate two momentum. Beep, boop, commander. And yeah, uh, you've seen this kind of uh, rudimentary scattering technology before, Rugon. The good news is um, it doesn't look like it was designed to specifically prevent beaming in and beaming out. It's not like, uh, uh, there are these things you can get called transport inhibitors, which set up interference fields to prevent beam outs. Um, uh, this isn't like those, whereas those are specifically designed to prevent people from beaming out. This is just sort of a generalized scattering field. It just so happens it would mess with your, uh, your transporters. So, if you set up a if you set up the proper communications uh, output, you can punch a pretty decently sized hole in it, enough to get a transporter beam through. Transport enhancers. Oh, what? Like, do you guys actually want to bring down transport enhancers? Uh, probably will want to, yeah. Okay, just remember, um, they don't beam up with you. Oh, That's so right. never mind. Wait, here's the plan. I will tie it to myself. That way, when I beam up, it will go with me. <laughs> it doesn't work that <laughs> way. No, no, well, uh... Nope, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, so did you want to work on something specific, Vlock? Or was that it? Uh, uh, actually, thinking about that, could I make, like, could I jury rig transport enhancers that will basically detonate once, they, once they've been used? Oh. Can I make them destroy themselves after we're done? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. That'll be daring engineering. Uh, difficulty... Uh, that's an interesting... That's an interesting design idea. Um, I'm gonna say that's gonna be difficulty 3, complication range 3. All right, gonna use a momentum. And I'm not even spending any threat to make it that way. It's just that's a very yeah, it's, that's a yeah, it's a weird thing. It's yeah. Um, yep. Uh, actually, gonna use a threat and then two momentum. So take a threat. Woohoo! I'm gonna do four die for this. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Um. You said uh, you essentially have set explosive charges set to the uh, uh, the transport feedback relays, so that once the transport has successfully gone through, it'll activate the charges and blow the things to smithereens. Cool. Alright, and then I know we also needed to uh, perform that easy yet hard surgery. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yes, and they, they do all the time. actually find Jubisa, so we know where to look for him. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then, uh, yes. Uh, that'll be something you can scans. do on the ground. Oh, oh, I was thinking of using the sensors on the ship so we could be close to him. Ah. 
okay, if you want to take a shot at, at scanning through the interference field, uh, be my guest. Um, wait, did you get a momentum? Wait, did you get a momentum back? Or did you generate three mom No, you, you only got... No, no. We, our sensors, when we're using them non in combat, we get, we straight up... Oh, that's right, you just gain a momentum. Yep. Right. Oh, neat. Cool, okay. Um, in that case, this will be a, um, reason, science, I'm spending two threat, difficulty of four, assisted by the ship's sensors, science, so that brings it back down to difficulty three. Ouch. <laughs> Rigan, you can do this. Find our crazy I can. officer. Now, I will say, this is in fact, would this in fact count for theory into practice as of yet? No, not yet. All right. Oh wait. Uh, so let's do this uh, thing. No, I'm gonna say no because it's you're not scanning no. the interference field. Like if you do something later with the interference field, yes, I will totally allow it. This is you trying to scan. This is you trying to scan He's stuff. Trying on. to scan through the interference field. Yeah, if that makes sense. Right. The interference field this time is just a complication. All right. What's the difficulty again? Uh, difficulty is three. All right. I have momentum enough. But of course. There we are. Uh, what's your focus again? Get the ship stay. Sensors. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's Duh. the sensors focus. There. It's what I do. And momentum back. Oh, sorry, no. Miss Lily already got it. Oh well. All right, so we gave for three. Mm hmm. Uh. So you got your three, and uh, that's one more. You, you generate two momentum because you have your advanced sensors. Hey, hey. Um, you pick up his com badge, but you also pick up a Bajoran life sign. I will, however, spend the two threat to create the complication of trying to beam him out trying to beam out any of these life signs or these signals would be unimaginably risky oh yeah I figured that as much not to mention you don't know if anyone's watching him and if he just disappears they know he's an alien what do they think he's suddenly going to wait is that going to be any more unrealistic than this man suddenly exploding into being with a dozen canisters of god knows what the actual fuck right it's more of the oh that's right we also should seal all that stuff back shouldn't we oh yeah we're gonna have to steal oh, that I, stuff back. i didn't even think about that oh yeah okay. we, we need that to time travel Oh, oh yeah, that's right. We can't, well, well, we can't just fly into the sun at like warp and like the the Klingon warp. I mean, technically, we could do that too, but it's a pain. <laughs> it's much easier to get the fancy stuff that makes us do it. Like, <laughs> right? Okay. The good time travel juice. <laughs> Kimo said, yes, for all your time travel needs. What are you talking about? It's time travel juice. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and Tizonin wanted to organize a security team? Well, I think someone has to, what? because no one has the advantage. <laughs> I'm just I'm here, just... man. 
Yeah, someone can make a <laughs> someone can make a presence security role with a difficulty of two to organize a security team because it's essentially creating an advantage. My presence security is eleven. I've got twelve. That's the highest so far. Presence security is eleven. Ten. And Rugan? No, it's it goes ten. To... <laughs> What's Rugan's? Uh, Lox is the highest. I'm pretty sure Rugan's is only uh, eleven. It's Velocius 12. Wow, okay. So, present security, difficulty 2. Yeah. Despite the fact that he's a Klingon, wait, present is, yeah. 11. No, only 10, actually, only 10. Haha, yeah, behold, my, behold my present security of 12. Oh Whee! boy, if, boy, if only the captain were here. <laughs> oh man. Um but yeah, we you have create... a team ready. Yes, you do have a team ready. Basically, whoever you send the security team with, uh they will they can be used as an advantage. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so you got a cu you got a couple of extra security guards. You've made sure that they're human. You can call them red shirts. They're the, well, they're the gold shirts. Yeah, yeah, we're different gens, so they're 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 yellow shits. Okay, but they have but they're about to be green shirts. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. So, I would like to in sick bay, um, uh, research and attempt to surgically modify our uh, three alien crew members into looking like human, so that they can uh blend in. Okay, uh, this will be, uh, for each of them, uh, it'll be a different difficulty for each of them based on their, uh, their specific appearance and how difficult it is to modify that to, yeah. to look human. Um, okay. Vlock will be a difficulty too. Control okay. medicine. Rugan will be a difficulty three, and Tizonin will be a difficulty four. Yeah, basically he's got cybernetic stuff to worry about. What are we rolling? What? What's going on? No, no, you... you... Uh, plastic surgery. Yeah. Oh, no. You're getting plastic surgery. <laughs> don't want to be white. For the mission. Yeah, you, they're going to make you a pink skin. <laughs> oh, oh, God, you beat me to it! Um, Very well, Doctor. Make me pretty. Uh, so... Alright, uh, I, I will start with block. Um... Control um, medicine, difficulty two. Yeah, I assume I have to put them under. Um, control medicine, difficulty two. I I I'll, pull us, I'll pull this down to the sick bay. Uh, should I spend a crew support? No, we have two momentum. And yeah, no, I can do this. I can do it. You're in good hands. <laughs> oh, oh, good enough. Here. Of course. Um... And if you want, you can institute the uh, advanced sick bay advantage. Uh, I might, you uh, might want to save that one. Hmm? How could I use the advantage? Uh, it's up to you how you want to use it. It's more of a, remember, you have two advantages. Right. right. Actually, Although, it is up to you. You might want to save them for, for one of the others. That's what I'm saying. I'm the easiest one to do. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly why I was thinking I am going to uh, uh, nurse Becky. I uh, need my surgical nerves, and I am going to activate her because she has a focus in surgical nursing. Um, there we go. And I can use her for all three checks. Uh, nurse Recky, is that what you said? Yes, the uh, Bajoran woman. Wait, that's the wrong one. Where's her? Where's her actual token? Oh, I, I had a token for her. Damn it! Let me scroll down to her actual token. Cause damn it, I had a token. Racky here. It got assimilated. There we go. All 
All right, and I'm spending one momentum for an extra die, and here we go. Okay, so I generate that. Uh, and you wanted her to help that. with control medicine? Yes, that's what she did. Oh no! Uh, oh, I'm that's sorry. What that second roll was. Oh, yeah, okay. Never mind. That's ignore, that ignore that. Uh, and you get to re-roll that zero if you want. Yep. Nice. So that's two, right. three, four, five successes. Right. You generate three momentum. All right. So uh, after a brief surgery, Volok comes out with you know normal eyebrows, um, a, a less green complexion, and. Uh, normal ear well not normal human ears um mm -hmm. all right i mean uh, admittedly if you i mean admittedly if you cut him he will still bleed green yeah unfortunately oh, yeah. it's cosmetic surgery um I, 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 not changing his dna um all right uh, on your way out uh commander grab uh lieutenant Rugan and bring him in of course Right. Yeah, uh, the, the, the real difficulty to this one is going to be the ridges. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Rugan already has fairly soft features. <laughs> for a Klingon. Um, um, what's the difficulty for this one? Uh, difficulty three. Alright, cool. I am going to spend one momentum and continue to use my uh, crucible. Okay. Nice. That's five. Uh, so That's you gain two. two. Yep. Yep. And yeah, it's it's it, it's one of those things where you sort of have to make his head like it, it's it's you sort of make his head look a bit bigger than it is, <laughs> so that you can so that you can compensate for the top points of the ridges by just making everything else conform to those tops. Yeah, because I think the skull shape is a bit different. Um, and we're not really changing the shape of the skull. Um, alright. Last up, the Andorian. This is gonna be the tricky one, because... One of those antenna is a prosthetic, so that means you're, uh, and by prosthetic, I mean a cybernetic, so, um... It's hooked to his brain. So you're gonna have to come up with a, uh, you, uh, in I will actually spend another two threat to create this complication. In addition to the actual surgery to change his appearance and slick back his antenna, you're gonna need to come up with a workaround for the cybernetic. Okay. Um, well, first, let's just do the surgery. Um, I was going to say, um, uh, you might want to, this one you might want to use the advantage for. Yeah. It's difficulty four mm -hmm. um, just to do the surgery. Yep. Um, I will continue to spend that one momentum, and then... Uh, if you want, you could spend your advanced sickbay focus, or sickbay and... advantage, to negate that complication I just made. That's a good idea. And say that yeah, there just that so happens like there just so happens to be a piece of medical equipment that can uh, it won't allow him to uh, interface with computers like he could, but it will perform the function of a of it will perform the uh, uh, what's the word the like a hair clip just to pull it back and hold it. Well, there, no, no, because so well, the thing about the biological the, function. Yeah, the biological. Well, you know what the biological oh. function of the Andorian antenna is, right? Yeah, it's for balance. It's yeah. like um, an actual yeah. antenna. Like y you're gonna get like a small medical device that will perform that function, but isn't oh. a huge antenna prosthetic. I see. 
Okay. So he'll still be able to balance. It's just he won't be able to hook up to the ship's computers until he comes back to the ship and gets his antenna back. Oh man, he doesn't get. We don't get to see Tev stumble around. <laughs> yeah, like a like, like a drunk idiot. Um. All right. Difficulty five. Uh, difficulty four, but you're using oh, the you're using the sick bay advantage to negate that complication I made. Yep. I, yeah. Sorry. I just sometimes have to say things out loud. Um, mm-hmm. Don't forget, you still do have your uh, CMO shoot. advantage. Right. Could I spend that to lower the difficulty to four? Uh, to, you mean down to three? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Cool. I will do that. Neat. Uh, you just make it. Yep. You spent a momentum. All right. Now that uh, they're all looking like humans, um, I'm going to tap my communicator and say, uh, "Jet Sal Mel to uh, Sick Bay, please." Because oh. I know she has a focus in history. Um. Neat. Okay. Uh, Mel walks in and says, uh, "Yes, Doctor." You know, I get to do that for you. I, you know, I get to do that to you for like the rest of the time you're here because I have that power over you right now. Um. Okay. So uh, what I need is um. Myself. Myself. The zone in, the lock. Bugan and two security guards all need a 1967 United States military uniforms for the fitting of us. Um, I assume I will dress as a nurse and the rest of them will dress as army officers. You're something of a historian. Do you think you could help in the creation of those? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's something I could do. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, and the way I think this would work is this would work as a neat application of there's a thing you can do where you use a you use a crew support to create an advantage. Okay, that seems like it can work. So she won't oh, yeah. do she won't do any rolling, uh, but she'll see to it that it's done. But we won't have any blunders like I did last time and giving them a couple hundred yeah. fucking dollars. <laughs> this does, however, mean that she has been used. Uh, so um, yeah. just keep that in mind for next time because uh, next time she gets used, she'll be able to upgrade. Okay. Hey. Cool. So she'll get those to you uh, shortly before it's time for you all to depart. <clears throat> all right uh, uh, is there anything else to do to plan i don't think so it's like yep we got our transport enhancers we got all that done so I guess the, it's just now punching the actual hole and going okay so uh <clears throat> The captain uh, contacts all of you and explains that he will be, um, uh, he actually meets all of you. I'm going to bring all your tokens there. He meets you all in the transporter room. Uh, quite, quite surprised at how human you all look. And I like to think this is just sort of that, that joke where, uh, not joke, but it's sort of this bit where um, for the more alien cr- uh, cast mem like the more alien characters, it's just their regular human actors. Yeah, out of makeup. Oh exactly. yeah. Without yeah. the makeup. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so it's just Tazonin's actor without the makeup. Mm-hmm. This is weird. <laughs> There's nothing on my face. <laughs> um. Uh, so Captain. It'll be for a couple hours, Lieutenant. It'll be alright. The captain is there. Uh. And actually, Gary Seven is also there. It looks like they've been talking uh, a little bit, uh, along with Ms. Lincoln. Uh, 
and there are also a couple security guys there, but they're they're sort of background dressing. Cool. I, I don't have tokens for them. Um. So Gary actually walk, walks over to the bunch of you and he says, "Well, you all look like you're ready for a day at boot camp." Uh, yeah. indeed. And he, he's just, uh, this is the first time you uh, and Rugan have seen this mantis own, and he's carrying a cat. This is weird. Just carrying this black cat. Yes, cat. <laughs> I go to pet the kitty. <laughs> um... Give me a presence command difficulty to check. See whether or not you you cat. <laughs> oh. Nope. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Cat cat bites at you. <laughs> oh damn! Fuck! Don't do that. You'll fuck up the surgery. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I need a little no. scrape on my finger, and it's just blue blood. <laughs> mm. Oh no! Now we have to patch up his hand. <laughs> yeah, I, I I pull out a dermal regenerator from like my nurse's bag and and, and uh, patch him up. Anyways, yeah. uh, what did you want to speak to us about? Uh, your captain here will be uh, will be coordinating things from my base in New York. Ah, oh, very well. Uh, meanwhile, Lincoln and I will be accompanying you. This is your mission, so while I normally don't like deferring to others on matters such as these, uh, we'll go where we're needed. Very and good. Ms. Lincoln steps uh, forward. Uh, yes, uh, check it, this is Miss Lincoln. Very welcome. Your assistance uh, will be very useful. And she's actually already in outfit. She's wearing, like, a 1960s nurse's outfit. Yeah, I think that's what Miss Ellie's wearing. Hmm? Mm, yeah. Yep. Uh, costume designers just had a ball in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Um. Well, I I believe we're ready to attempt to punch a hole into their attempt at scattering field. So I I I, I assume we will be splitting into teams. One of us should track down Jubisa. One of us should track down the team Kiba site, and one of us should track down the, um, the, uh, the uh, generator in Shelly. Of course. Alright. Uh, who do we want on every team? Well, uh, given my knowledge in transporter technology and how to block it, I, I best believe I should attempt to shut down whatever field they have in place. going on what god damn it we're, we're, we're splitting the party are you <laughs> no this is how we die <laughs> we have to split the party um okay. we have we have three objectives we have to split the party um the three of you Indeed. are going to track down the key i will do my best my will do that was to track down the key great um uh, as for um the security team and these two. Who do, do we want them to go with? Yeah. 
Uh, perhaps the security team can assist me, and Gary Seven and uh, Miss Lincoln can assist you, Doctor Maselli. It sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Uh, so who's going with? Uh, who are Gary Seven and Ms. Lincoln going with? Uh, Maselli with Maselli to find Juiza. Then uh, security team will be coming with me since I am on my own. Otherwise, uh, okay. So the security team is going with you on your own, Valak. Yep. Okay. And, and then Tavern Ogan are Ooh, going boy. to be so. the ones fighting the chemocytes, so we can get the hell out of here. Okay. So the way this is gonna have to go is. You can beam down. Uh, you're you're going to have to do this in two separate beam downs. Uh, one of the groups is going to have to go in a separate beam down. Gotcha. I assume that will be your group, Valak, because you'll be doing the beam down. You can't beam yep. us down when you're down there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. First, uh, I'll, I'll attempt to beam down... <laughs> Uh, the other group first, and then we'll we'll work on the others afterwards. Hmm. Gotcha. So that will be for the first batch. Um, that will be a control engineering difficulty four assisted by the ship's sensors engineering so difficulty three cool it would have been difficulty five but you guys built that advantage hey and oh i just remembered to actually have the transporter enhancers uh does have an opportunity cost oh yeah figured already so uh did you already account for that uh not yet i will do that right so now do do come. account for that because that is a that is a cost. I think it's two. I can check real quick. Alright, then uh, myself, uh, for this role, I will um, give you a threat, and I will to take the two momentum to roll. Uh, you're giving me a threat? Is that wow. what you said? Yeah, I was giving you a threat. Okay. <laughs> um, and then uh, the ship had what now? Uh, sensors engineering. Okay, uh... <laughs> better with machines than people sure okay that's what you needed so I get them down Copy. Okay, now for Vlock in your security team. Uh, it'll be the same check. Okay. Now I have to set up. Uh, well, I'm gonna give you three thread. Okay, I will gladly take it, not spending it. Oof. Damn. Uh, well, still got the three, but complication. Yep. Um, let me decide what that complication is going to be. I know. Not gonna like this complication. 
you're not um i'm going to pull you down to a uh, i'm going to pull you all down to the theater of the mind I've got a mini your tokens. You are all over here. <clears throat> uh, specifically, actually, I have to ask, where did you beam them down to? Uh, I would have attempted to try and get them at least near uh, uh, Joyce's last known location. Mm. But, uh... Okay. Okay, um, and the complication is just for you. Where were you trying to get Valak? Uh, my best guess at where the signal jamming might be coming from. Uh, okay, then that complication is you have no idea where the signal jamming was coming from, so all you could do was set yourself on the ground on, like, uh... <clears throat> Uh, set yourself in a nice little corridor um, uh, on the surface, but you have no idea where this jammer is. Gotcha. But I didn't kill anybody, so that's good. And it doesn't look like anyone's seen you. Ah, very good. Um, we'll duck, we'll duck, out, duck out of the way and attempt to hide so we can scan some stuff <laughs> hmm. um we'll start with you then um the uh what are you scanning for trying to find uh, the source of that dampening field yep okay give me a uh in uh, insight engineering or science diff of three uh and this e even though it doesn't matter you are in a new scene yep uh well uh once again we'll give you a threat okay i'm gonna spend it and one more to up your comp range by two or uh, by one gotcha. sorry and we'll attempt to roll again. Mm -hmm. Wow, just not my day at all. <clears throat> well, not only do you have no idea where you are going, but um, a couple of soldiers around the corner... Hey you! No stand, no loitering around. We have busy work to do. Of course. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, uh, we best get back to work. <laughs> and and uh, we all shuffle off and just attempt to best get out of here. <laughs> mm hmm. Next, we pick up with the teams. Who have beamed in underground. This is quite complex they have there. I didn't even know they could build things back then. Uh, build things of this magnitude back then. Um, um, you are in a room with uh, a number of metal shelves all around. Uh, Vlock beamed you guys in relatively close to... Uh, basically... Um, uh, he beamed you into a room where, um, his comm badge is, uh, which should be within maybe a hundred to two hundred feet of his location. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip open my medical tricorder and try and detect a sure in life sign. Uh, uh, you're going to scan for Bajor and Life Science? Okay. Uh, insight Medicine or Science, difficulty three. Does uh, uh, Xenobiology apply? I'll allow it. 
You said difficulty three? Yep. Oh, you have to hold momentum. Never mind. Yep. Just no enough. Uh, actually, actually, you gain a momentum. From what? As Gary uh, reaches into his pocket, pulls out a silver pen, walks over to you, clicks it, and something just, con some device apparently just connected with your tricorder and is augmenting its scanning capabilities. She kind of raises an eyebrow at them. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm increasing the scanning, uh, I'm increasing the scanning potential of your medical device with my servo. Okay. All right, well, I got his location. Um, we'll go after him. Uh, Rukon, you know your orders? Let's go. And I will quickly step out of the closet and uh, move out. Oh, no, wait, I will grab the communicator and it's... Can't leave that popped. There we go. Cool, so that leaves Tev and Ergon to find our fuel. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so it's Tev and Ergon who are going off to find the fuel. Let's see, guys. Okay, great, got it. Uh, who do we want to stick with first? Uh, you can do them first. I've had to spot it for a while. Okay. Uh, it's going to be an insight science difficulty of three roll to locate, uh, uh, to locate the chemical, uh, to locate the chemocyte. Three, then. <clears throat> Fifteen, not too bad. You do have a momentum. Now, because we're working together to find this, can I use team dynamics? Um, no. Uh, but do you have you do have a scanning focus, right? I do, yes. Yeah, that'll sensor operations. Uh, oh, Very... it's, it's specifically that sensor operations. Yeah, it's yeah. specifically uh, sensor operations. So no, you don't have a focus. All right, in that case, I will take a momentum. Very good. Uh, difficulty was two, three. Right? Yeah. It was three? Darn. Uh... I'm not doing it alone. I've got help. Still got to. Uh, wait, that zone can assist you. What roll? Insight Science. Yep. Find our oh, starship Oh, hey, that's a fuel. thing I can do. Fifteen. Nice. Uh, oh, wow. What's the roll for? Jesus Christ, you're as good as I am about. Yeah, I, I think his science score is lower, but his insight is higher. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. So what's yeah, the uh, roll for specifically? Uh, you're just doing you're... a single single die roll to assist. Yeah, I... Hey, Marvelous. you do it. <clears throat> um, you're able to pick up a faint trace of uh, chemocyte, uh, and a generalized direction uh, looks to be sort of the opposite direction from where the others are going. Uh, but there's some, uh, it's only about 25 feet away, so it's probably in one of the next couple rooms over. Uh, there's sort of a problem, though. I uh, the kind of readings you're getting back on this, uh, you shouldn't be getting these readings unless the chemocyte containers were leaking. Because normally you wouldn't be getting such a strong reading so close by if they were properly sealed. Indeed. This could prove an issue. 
Uh, no, not all lieutenant commanders have veteran. It's just you have to be a lieutenant commander uh, to have a veteran. Um, where was I? Uh, so I suppose you folks will head off. Indeed. All right. Uh, I think we will actually pick up with Gary and uh, Maselli and uh. Uh, uh, Ms. Lincoln, as you are making your way around. All right. Um, yeah, uh, we've honed in on uh, his location, and I have uh, his tripe, and I have his communicator in my pocket. So um, all I'm trying to do is get into uh, the building he's located in, or the room he's located in. Okay, uh, give me. Uh, uh, some one of the three of you uh, will be making a control security check, difficulty of four. Okay, well my control security is one. Oh, eleven. So it's probably not going to be me. Okay, <sighs> Gary can do this. Uh, both of you, however, get to assist. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. We're, uh, uh, we're gonna get arrested. So, you do manage to find your way over to the building uh, and find the door. Uh, as you do, a man rounds the corner, uh, flanked by two army soldiers. Um, uh, you look at it, uh, like you catch him out of the corner of your eye. He looks to be wearing a general's uniform. He looks at you and says, Hey, who are you? Uh, Nurse Maselli, sir. I'm I'm here to uh, help treat the prisoner for his injuries. Restricted area. No, sir. Okay, so you know the scene in uh, Star Trek IV where he, like, where McCoy completely bullshits his way um, into the uh, surgery room. Um, could I try and do that? Um, no, sir, you don't understand. Um, it, it, if the report I got from the doctor is accurate, the man's hemolysophic uh, nerve cells are disintegrating at a rate uh, very rapid. Uh, we have to give him a very large injection of uh, coma trip design um or else he will um be unable to breathe in our atmosphere and die okay give me a pr uh this is going to be a presence medicine difficulty uh, opposed um uh difficulty opposed uh hang on a moment this will uh, this won't succeed at cost. This is... I'm, I'm thinking something else. Um, uh, I, I, I have a thought in mind for this. Uh, so this will be Presence Medicine Opposed. Uh, I am going to spend a threat for this guy to roll a third die. Uh, additionally, for you, the complication range is going to be, uh, two, because this is a pretty, this is a pretty risky lie. Yeah, okay. And I'm not even that's... spending any threat to make it that way. That's just, that's, this is just a risky lie. Yeah, that's completely fair. This is... Okay, um... Okay. We have no moment. Oh, nope. I did not mean to re roll three uh, D100s. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. Ooh, he's... That's, um... That's four successes. Oh. Oh, dear. 
So roll me your presence medicine. Um, here, uh, you can have a threat for a third time. Okay. Um, Uh, would you accept the value uh, violence is never the answer because I'm explicitly trying to do a non-violent thing? I don't think so, but that's the closest uh, value I have. I'm gonna say no. Alright, well, I'm just screwed here. Go for it. Alright, you can have two more threat for a fourth time. Okay, um, neat. Oof. Sorry about that. Uh, and I'm going to spend that two threat you gave me to sort of create a complication of sorts. Um, he says, No. And the fact that you, uh, the fact that you know about him is a bit suspicious. Uh, men, if you would uh, please escort the three of them from the premises. However, uh, because you even attempted this task, uh, something else is going to happen that I'm going to pull. Uh, do you mind if I have uh, Gary give a uh, give a threat? Sure. Go ahead, yeah. What, Ooh, what, nice. what do we got to lose right now? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, fortunately, he critted on one of those. Awesome. And the general did not. So that's four successes versus three successes. <clears throat> And, uh, and Gary, sim Gary, Gary simply steps forward and says, all right, all right, be on our way. And he, he, like, he motions the two of you to step back and he opens the door for the general. He says, uh, after you, sir. And the general looks him up and down, nods, uh, steps into the room where Jueza is, uh, Gary shuts the door uh, behind the general, and the two soldiers step forward. It says, if the three of you would please follow us. Um, do I see any cameras? Uh, no, cameras is a... Uh, oh, yeah, it's a too modern invention. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, although, I can have you make uh, an insight uh, security check, difficulty of two, to notice something. Alright, sure. I'm, I'm not going to succeed, but I... Go ahead. You never know. Okay. Uh, uh, insight security, not presence. But you rolled a 19 on the other one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, the way I'll say this is... Um, you don't know exactly what or why, but Gary seems oddly confident. Okay. I, I, I will, I guess, follow his lead. And the three of you walk away from, uh, the three of you walk away from the room that Jueza is in. We will now pick up with Jueza. Uh, yep. the door opened. Uh, you don't see anyone on the outside, but the general walks in again. Oh, good. I was getting lonely. I really hoped it wouldn't come down to this, but we're going to have to oh, resort to some of the more extreme measures. Uh, you've been hoping for this. Hmm? You were hoping that it'd come to this. Don't lie to me. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Let's be honest with each other. Now, listen, and he just sort of motions to you, and he says, I don't know what you aliens are planning, but we're going to stand against it. Uh, I need you to give me an insight security difficulty two check to notice something. Okay. Uh, where is oh there I am. Insight security. Uh, I'll give you a threat for an extra die. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Nice. That's enough. Um, there's a cat in the corner. Interesting. A black cat. I see. You're going to, uh, use animal torture against me animal torture and as he like he, he sounds really confused and the cat starts to walk up uh like the cat's like casually strolls up towards like behind him um and then you watch miraculously as in just sort of a light glow the cat begins to morph changing shape standing up upright and changing into the form of a very human-looking woman. That's a changeling. Who then, like, lifts her, uh, lifts her right arm up and just judo chops him over the shoulder. Gonna roll some dice. Daring security. Then roll. And the general goes down. So, you must be the one that they're, uh, that everyone's talking about. You must be one of those founders. Founder? No, I am Isis. Founder named Isis. Interesting. And she walks around to behind you and says, Gary sent me in here to free you. Is that another founder? No, Gary Seven uh, is the agent I am assigned to. I see. Well, I won't refuse if you want to let me go. She uh, begins working at the binds. Uh, uh, the binds on your ropes. Uh, you can give. You can assist her with a uh, uh, control security. Uh, I'll count that first one. Two. Uh, and the ropes come free. Thank you as I rub my wrists and uh, stand up. Uh, when you turn around to face her again, uh, there's just a cat who hops up on the hops up on the chair uh, and sort of looks at you expectingly, like to you're, you're expecting it to like lean over so it can hop up on your shoulder. Give it a little bit of an odd look, but uh, like fine, whatever. And it hops up on your shoulder, and with its uh, with its paw, it start it, it it paws at your earring a little. Bad kitty. And you hear a voice in your head. We should get out of here. More or less. Okay. I'll start walking out and uh, listening to her instructions on which way to go. Okay. Is any of my equipment in this room? Uh, not in this room. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, however, we are going to cut back over to Tizonin and Rugan. Who need to give me a control security check? Difficulty of three. Um, control security. 
That's going to be 13 for me. What about you? Rigan? Yeah, just a moment. I don't suppose I can work in um, Team Dynamics in there. This one I will allow Team Dynamics for. Okay, uh, help action. Uh, yes. No. Uh, yeah, you can help out with uh, control security. There you go. Yep. <clears throat> as you approach the um, as you approach the storage room that supposedly uh, houses this um, uh, this box, uh, a couple of soldiers approach. Who says? Hold it. Uh, only authorized personnel are allowed in. I'm in here, there. Uh, do, 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 do. I will roll a... Four! Killing. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> Uh, whoops, sorry. I guess we got a little lost. Uh, um, so we're just gonna go. Bye. <laughs> I turn around and, like, start walking out a random door. Okay. So, what's your play? Regal, what do you want to do? You want to beat him up or do you want to run away? Hmm, do you think that we can? Oh, God. I don't know, man. We didn't come down in Kevlar, hmm. so I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it would probably be control security or fitness security. I'm not terrible at either. Uh, control would be better for me. Indeed. Hmm. Well, as it stands, a break in violence would likely not be the first thing to try, I don't think. Because one wrong move will mess things up for the rest of the group. Sure. Could always try to talk our way out of this. Wait, did we come down with phasers? Uh, tell me, did you guys come down with phasers? I we go with so. yes. <laughs> I need to yeah, the size of TV remotes we can fit them in pockets. Oh yeah, yeah we, we're doing the we're doing the whole time travel thing with Star Trek. Let's just, just we got all it our gear. Wouldn't work, though, wouldn't they? Yeah, let's stun them. Wouldn't discarding fuel prevent it, though? No. No, no, it's a it's just a rudimentary uh, transport scattering field. Yeah. yeah it's put the phasers on wide beam and like, on stun. Like, honestly, it's pro the, the to give you an idea, the scattering field is honestly, like, what they're probably worried about is they're probably worried about people listening in with high-tech radar and uh, high-energy... <laughs> High energy listening devices. They're not, they're not imagining people are going to be using uh, energy weapons and matter materializers. Indeed. Pop pop pop! Watching motherfuckers drop, Lieutenant. No. Oh, but no. If we do the if we do if we hit move a if we both hit move a white beam stun at the same moment. That should go all right. Hmm. Mm. Like or change. we could go in. Yeah, it could be either that or go into a nearby room and make our way through the wall. These aren't uh, reinforced 24. Third century walls. These are just good old-fashioned and um, like 
20th century walls. We can cut through these things like fucking butter with our phaser. Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah, we get to shoot them with our laser beams. Mm-hmm. I will pick a plan. I was okay. gonna say, uh, and you could also take a miner to charge. Let's just set the phasers on wide beam. And yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah, that's what you have <laughs> to do. Wide beam, take a moment to charge and lay them on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Go. we're just looking at fancy TV remotes. I don't think they're gonna shoot us. Indeed. <laughs> so. Make sure to hold it sideways, Lieutenant. Oh, of course. But it, it's not a kill shot. You're stunning them. Yeah. Good point. Okay. Vertical it is. Okay. Um, uh, so here, uh, here's the question. Do you guys want to do separate shots, or do you want to uh, have one lead and one assist? Uh, let's do that. Hey, at least you, though. Okay. So, control security, difficulty of two. Control security difficult of two. Alright, you lead. Bah! <laughs> wow, we're just I want to re-roll. Oh. Uh you don't have anything that'll let you re-roll that. Oh no. Mm -hmm. We're doing great, guys. I accidentally set my phaser to kill. Uh okay. Oh, you um... don't be bugger, why would you give him ideas? Uh, so, Rugon, roll five challenge dice. That's enough. That wow. put that okay. that puts down all four of them. Uh and I assume you're gonna go into the room? Indeed. Okay. First we are going to, before we go into the room, first off, we are going to check that bitch for traps and alarms and like... And we're gonna make sure the fucking rug's not gonna eat us, you bastard. <laughs> God. Um... Well, so here's the thing. As you go to check the door, an alarm starts to sound. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I said we check it. Nah, yeah, we. So, are, are, what are you going to do? Hmm. All right, so the alarm is going off. Is the door locked? Um, no, door doesn't seem to be locked. All right, so let's kick in the fucking door and get grab the shite and transport out. Um, you can't transport out. Transport it out, I should say, not us. No, you can't transport. Can't. Yes. Uh, all right, now, so here's now you've got to run around and try and get back to me. <laughs> All right, I still. Uh, so hang on, I am. Uh, so I'm gonna roll one thing. Yeah, real quick. Okay. Here's my plan. What we are going to do? We are going to get ourselves inside that room. We are going to seal the door with our phasers, and we are going to cut through the back wall with our phasers. Make our own exit. They have no idea who they're looking for. Mm, okay, so you go inside. Um, you're going to spend two. Uh, you're going to uh, you're going to spend essentially a round uh, welding the door shut with your phaser. Well, there are two of us, so we can opt in tandem. Yep. Uh, control security difficulty two. All right. Here, yeah, that being said, as well. Um, here, we should bring these people in here with us just because they know what we look like and if they revive them, then they, they're the only ones who know what we look like. So we should keep them hidden for the time being. 
What are your thoughts, Lieutenant? With your lead. All right, then. So, that being said, let's work together to seal this thing to make sure we can actually do So, Tim will assist with me burning the thing. Hey. Never the fuck mind. And, Tev? <laughs> do I need to? <laughs> Are you going to assist? Well, uh, you're, the thing is, you're going to need to in order for uh, Rugon to get his focus. Uh, okay. We need momentum, too. Yay! You hey! generate two momentum. Marvelous. Great. Um, okay. As you, the phaser lance beams out and the lock to the door well, like, melts shut. You're in. You're locked in. Yep. Uh, however, we are going to cut over to, um, uh, we are going to cut over to, uh, uh, Jueza and Isis, who are going to try to navigate to find the others. Uh, Jueza, I need a control security difficulty of two, or insight security, sorry, difficulty of two. To find your way. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, I'm going to spend two threat and give this complication range to. Okay. Um, I'll use a momentum for extra die. Darn. Oof. We're doing great, guys. Uh, you do not find them this round. Uh, but you now hear, uh, but at the as as at the end of this round, you now hear a, an alarm starts to blare. I turn to the cat. Uh, how many lives you got left? We might need some. More than you could know. Can I borrow one? The cat just sort of tilts its head at you. As you all continue running. Okay, then I will pick up the pace and go to full dash. Yep. Mean. Uh. Meanwhile. Um. Uh. Uh. Gary, Maselli, and Lincoln, as you are walking about uh, with these uh, soldiers, um, an alarm starts to blare. And at that exact moment, oof! Oh, jeez. Uh, do you mind if he spent a momentum? Go for it. Okay, good. That means he also gets to re-roll that. Hey. Come on, roll me the other one. There we are. Three successes. Hey. You gain a momentum back. And rolls. Four. Nice, nice. <clears throat> uh, he uh, takes out his pen, gives it a twist, and uh, the two uh, soldiers in front of him start to clutch their ears in pain. All right, um, and I assume we just walk off, um, or actually, um, oh, let, let me ask you, uh, how badly are they in pain? Does it, does, does it look like they does... will be, um, able to move? No, this is, the, okay. that was a, uh, that was a distract them move. All like, right, well, let's a... run over and round a corner. Um, that was a... And the alarm is blaring now? Huh? Uh, the alarm is blaring yes. now, right? Like, he did that yeah, as right. soon as the alarm started to blare. Alright, I'm gonna tap my communicator. Alright, uh, Miss Sally to a wait team. What just happened? Um, 
That is a good question. <laughs> Everything's fine. We got it all under control. Lieutenant. <laughs> God. Don't worry yourself. It's fine. <laughs> Lieutenant. My God, she face bombs. <sighs> all right. Step up the peg. Step up the pace. They're going to be extra nervous. Um, the lock. How's it coming? Uh, unfortunately, not the best on my end. Oh God, we're all gonna die. <laughs> all right. Well, do your best to avoid getting caught. Uh, I'm. We're gonna have to try and circle back around and make another pass at finding Jubisa. Um. I'm going to open up my uh, tricorder and try and locate um, his life sign to see if they're moving him. Okay. Uh, give me insight and medicine. Difficulty two. Did you want to spend a momentum right. to, to roll a third die? No, we spent that momentum. Uh, he got it back for you. Yeah, he did okay. get it back, yeah. Much better. You gained the momentum hey, cool. back. Uh, yes. Oh, and roll a third die, because you rolled a third die. I rolled three dice. I'm not so, you have cautious, don't you? Like, you rolled... Oh, 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 right. I see. Awesome. You generate three, so... Uh, yes, you uh, you detect um, the life's uh, the bio sign of Joeza and the bio sign of a cat. And where are they? Uh, they are sort of vaguely moving in your general direction. Um, and you know, as soon as you see the bio reading for the cat, you look over and you realize uh, what you had missed earlier. Uh, he doesn't have the cat anymore. Alright, that was clever. I'll give you that. You have your moments. Um. <sighs> Alright, I think he's this way. Let's go. I'll close the dry corner and try and take off after Chuesa. Okay. Ms. Lincoln and I will handle these two. Okay, because they're they're still in the fight. Yeah, that that okay. was not enough stress to put them down. It's fine with me. Uh, so that'll be a fight that will essentially be handled off screen. You don't have to worry about that. Um. Meanwhile, Vlock. Yes, I uh, have to yet again try and find this damn disruption field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Insight Engineering or Science, difficulty three. All right, well, we have momentum now. I'm going to use some momentum. <laughs> That's three. There we go. Um, you got it now. There's a tower, there's a antenna on top of one of the buildings that appears to be putting off the field. Very good. Uh, I believe I found it, men. Uh, let's carefully go over there. I believe it's that antenna there. Going to make our way there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you will spend your round getting over there. Yep. Uh, so now on their end, I'm going to spend a threat. See if they find any of you. Uh, do not. Do not. And do not. Hey. 
Okay, back to you guys. Who would like to go first? Perhaps Tevin or Gan can be cutting some holes in some wall. Sounds good. Uh, well, weren't you going to try and find the thing first? Oh, the, oh, okay then. Yeah, I can do that as well. Okay. Uh, you, you know, you have your reading, so you're able to find the box easily enough. Uh, it's, you know, among a number of other shelves in here. Um, but first, Rugan, I need you to make me an Insight Science Difficulty 2 check. <clears throat> Rugan. Sorry, which check? Insight Science, difficulty two. We do have two momentum if you'd like it. Sorry, in real quick, which precisely is I'm attempting to accomplish? You're trying to figure out what where the chemical is in the room. Or, no, you, you right. found it. You found it. It's you're trying to determine oh. something about it. Oh, about oh, right it. Then. So I have no idea if I can bullshit me in a complicated... Hey, nice. Hey. You gain the momentum back. Uh, I am, however, going to spend two threat, because this is a complication that I was going to have happen one way or the other. Uh, if you had failed, it just would have meant I didn't have to spend the threat. Um, bad news, Rugan. Well, sort of good, uh, bad news and good news. The bad news is, um, so much of it, is, like, this container is pretty busted up. Looks like it took a pretty heavy fall. Um, enough of it is leaked out that you probably would not be able to properly, um, you probably wouldn't you wouldn't be able to properly like recapture enough of it to be useful. Uh, the good news is with a good control uh, with a good control science check, uh, which you will do next round. Um, uh, you can essentially make it. Um, what's the word? Uh, you can you can nullify it. You can. Make it so the chemocyte is no longer dangerous. Alrighty then. By breaking down its by breaking it down into its base components, which are just just ele just some very bare bones elements, a lot of carbon, a lot of um, a lot of silicate. Just it, it'll be useless. Alright. Which uh, so even though you're gonna have to leave it behind, it won't be useful to anyone. Uh, but you'll do that next round. Um. All right. Um. Who wants to go next? Uh, ways it can go. Sure. Give me an insight. Insight security diff two. Okay. Or actually diff one because the other side is searching for you. I will still use the momentum for the extra die. Um, out of curiosity, I can't use survival for this, can I? I'll allow it. Hey. Or uh, don't you also have one that's like freedom? Uh, oh no, that's your. That's just a value. A value. Yeah. Oh boy, that'd be a great place to use that though. Just is that a hint? <laughs> no, I'm just saying this is a great place. This th this situation is a great place to use Freedom Fighter. Just this. I'm gonna th hold it for now. Yeah, just this whole thing. Maybe use it actually. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that was enough. You yeah, succeed. It was enough, though. Yep. Oh, it's one now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the others are looking for you. Uh, as oh, you yeah. also. Uh... Was I able to find any kind of weapons or, like, knives or 
anything. Uh, no, anymore. not yet. You've just been trying to find the others. Okay. Uh, as you round a corner, you see a familiar face, but not dressed in normal uniform. Yeah, so he's in, like, a goofy 60s uh, military nurse's outfit, flanked by the two-time traveler ladies, uh, or two-time travelers. Um, uh, uh, so good to see you, Chief. Um, she reaches into her uh, bag and pulls out her uh, his communicator. Here, take this back. Oh, the alarms. And kind of look her up and down, like, interesting. Don't get me started on this. Unacceptable for a military uniform. Um. um <laughs> the, the, the 23rd century would like to know your location. <laughs> Coincidentally, the 23rd century and the 60s have a lot of strange similarities. Hmm. Um, I don't know why, though. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Um, what was I going to say? Um. Alright, Vlock is working on getting rid of the transporter and hip. Somehow, Rugan and Tab set off the alarm. They're trying to track down the Kima site so that we can remove it from the complex. Um, uh, once those two tasks are complete, we can beam out of here. Uh, until then, I think we should just run and hide from the guard. Do you have your phaser, Doctor? I do. Would you like it? And she reaches in and hands him a Type 1 phaser. I will take the type 1 phaser. Oh boy. Great. You now have a type 1 phaser. Um we should uh, we should get moving. Yeah, they're, uh, they're looking for you. And you said that I almost heard a da 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 da. da. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Um, Ms. Lincoln and Gary Seven are going to spend their round fighting some goons. Just going to roll a couple die to see how well that's going in their favor. Haha. -ha. Sucks for them. Um. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Right. Okay. Are they getting their butts kicked? <laughs> um, Vlock. You, yes. Uh, you've encountered, you've made your way uh, up to the uh, top of this tower. Uh, there is a man standing uh, at a terminal uh, yelling into a microphone. It says, I want to know what is going on right now. I haven't received the order. Keep up the field. What's going on down there? I have to attempt to get in behind him and knock him out. Okay, uh, sneak up. You want to sneak up behind him? Yeah. Okay, uh, control security opposed. I'm going to spend a threat. Can I use the security team as an advantage for this? Yes, to... Uh, you, like, you'll have one of them, like, pound on the, pound on the side wall of the place to distract the guy for a second. Sounds good. So, it, uh, it increases his difficulty. So, if he has to hit a difficulty one, you only have to hit a difficulty zero. Do you have a Vulcan nerf, bitch? I do. Nice. Oh, we get to do that. Oh... That's two, three, four. <clears throat> really? Damn. <laughs> he, tur he turns around, looks at you, says, What the? Uh, and now you get to actually... Now it's going to be uh, daring security opposed. Although you're, uh, you're doing your daring medicine or yeah. daring science, I think. Science for me, yeah. So I'm not going to spend a threat here, though. I would like... To take a momentum though. You only rolled one success. Eh. 
Uh, victory goes to the attacker. Hey! Roll five challenge dice. Good God. Want to spend a momentum to re-roll those? I, I use the, that momentum to roll those three. Oh, Jesus. As you sort of... I did one. You just sort of grip him at a sort of off angle, and he just sort of... Oh, actually, though, you do have the, um... You do have an advantage on him because of the security team. Oh, cool. That is true. So... As, so like, yeah, the... Because, like, one security guy, like, racked against the side of the thing, and the other one charged him with you. So, uh, you do have a momentum if you want to reroll those three. Okay, yep, that's that four. That. That's much better. That's not enough to down him, but that's four stress, which is better than nothing. Yes, it is. Uh, he is then going to attempt to hit you back, Valak. He is still at increased... Uh, no, he's not at increased difficulty, because the security guy is only uh, attacking. He's not defending. So give me a daring security. Uh, victory goes to the attacker, though. Yep. And he's gonna deal you... Uh... Ouch. Three stress. As he pushes you, as uh, like as he's wobbling a bit, he just sort of uh, throws you off of him, uh, and it's back to you. I imagine there's a bit of green blood just kind of leaking out now. Mm -hmm. Punch me in the face or something. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try yet again to knock this pool out okay give me your daring science oof it's only one success ah. doesn't matter uh but that is actually a tie so nothing happens hey. because uh he didn't get the successes he needed to damage you and cool. you didn't get the successes you needed to damage him so we're just struggling yeah get back. and now he's gonna try and hit you daring security oof that's a complication uh deal damage because he complicated, so even though he was the attacker, I'm saying that complication means that you, you get to deal the damage. So roll your unarmed strike. That's enough! As you sock him in the face, and he goes clattering to the ground. Oh boy, um... Well, um, I suppose the direct route is necessary sometimes. Uh, so we will come back to you uh, in a bit, though. We are now in the next round. Uh, uh, Rugan to Zonin. So now we're cutting our way out, yes. Mm hmm Uh well you have to oh. uh you have to do the thing to the um chemocyte. Make right, yes, you wanna do the thing to the chemocyte, my apologies. Uh this Make is it gonna, useless. Uh this is gonna be a control science roll, difficulty of three, but your testing a theory, theory into practice will come into play. Cool. All right, then. So it's only difficulty two and you get to roll three dice. Alrighty, then. And Tizonin Show can me. assist with, uh, he can assist if he wants with control science. Control science, hell yeah. Cool. 
Oh, right, then can I have Team Dynamics then, because he's assisting. Sure. Hey. <laughs> oh, stop man. assisting, damn it. <laughs> stop assisting, stop <laughs> assisting. Oh, man. Uh, Easy, like, I'm stick helping. his finger in it and he melts it off or something. I'm helping. Uh, I'm just going to take that as threat. Yeah, you just got the you just got the damn thing facing backwards to shoots himself. Okay, you've uh, you've successfully uh, uh, you've successfully uh, broken down the substance of the chemocyte. Um, it'll be useless to to pretty much everyone, and with a quick phaser blast, you manage to uh, slag the container. Now it's just a hunk of metal. There we are. Now that's been dealt with suitably. Uh, so next round, you'll get to cut your way out. Uh, so Teresa and uh, Joeza. And a cat. And a cat. Um, okay, sir. Are you okay, Chief? Uh, were you injured in any, in any way? Uh, do you need medical assistance? Uh, say that again, I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. Um, are you okay? Uh, were you hurt uh, during your uh, capture? Oh, they didn't touch me. Oh, well, that's good. Um, we're apparently we should probably, uh attempt to find uh, my equipment. We can't leave it with uh, this savage culture. Yeah. Earth is just the worst. Um... I would strongly recommend General Order 24 to the captain. Uh, remind me again, which one is General Order General Order 24 is just nuke the whole planet. Uh, yeah. Oh. No, we can't do that, Juiza, or else the timeline would cease to exist because we would be destroying the founding mem a founding member of the Federation. Hmm. It's hard to believe humans ever matured from such savagery. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, uh... so some would say that uh, humans are still a savage race. Um... Um, so yes. what, el what else did you have on you? Tricorder and your phaser? My Type 2 phaser. Yep, and your tricorder. We found your yep. communicator. Alright, um, I will open up my communicator. Um, excuse me, my tricorder. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, well, you know where his tricorder is. Oh, is it in that same room? Yeah, it's in that room that you guys beamed into. Okay. Oh, actually, I, uh, follow me. Yeah. Um, uh, make me, uh, make me... If anyone uh, asks, just let, let, let me do the talking. Mm -hmm. uh, I need you to make me, however, an insight security difficulty one check. Just to, like, remember your way back. Because you've only been through these halls once. Okay. Yep, you're able to easily find your way back. You quickly slip into the room, and, uh, there is, uh, uh, there is Jueza's equipment in a box. His uniform, his communicator. I'm not in my uniform anymore? Uh, they, they separated the two. Okay. Because oh, it's boy. like, oh, this is a piece of technology. This is, uh, is an his article. Phaser? This is an article of clothing. <laughs> uh, is his phaser? Uh... Yes, his phaser is among them. Right. Uh, it's with uh, the. I will grab my tricorder and uh, kind of put it in a pocket or something, and take my phaser, and then uh, kind of put my phaser on high, and then like vaporize the box. <laughs> nice. Erase all evidence. Nice. Put that back on stun, sir. Uh, we're not killing anyone. Well, I'm just killing the bot, getting rid of the evidence with the phaser. 
I, I know. I'm just saying, don't use that on a person. Um, I'll, I'll watch the door while you change. It's a, it's a good safety tip, Doc. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't know. I didn't do well with my security class. All right. So uh, I guess I will change back into my... Uh, uh, that would form. take you a whole round to do Alright, and I think I'll watch the door. I think that... Uh, well, like I mean, that'll idea. take you your whole... That will take you your next round to do. Okay. So, uh, unless you want to just, you know, take it and, and run. Okay, uh, yeah, then we Actually, just... I'll just leave my uniform in the box and, and you... incinerate just it with the... Fingers. Incinerate... Incinerate your uniform. Yeah. Yeah. You can always, easy to make. Yeah, you can always get a... Yeah, you have plenty back up in your room. Uh... Alright, all right, now uh, we should find a hiding place. I'll assume, I assume we'll do that next round. Do I need to make a roll to successfully shoot the box? No. That's... <laughs> it's not fighting back. In 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 the Hadfield, we, we hate boxes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know why I'm joking about that, but... Yeah, well, th there was that mysterious box from when I joined. It made Juiza evil or something. No, um... Oh, that was fun. On, on Tuesday, um... Pend, uh... Did an entire solid snake mission, and he, oh. he used a box. Oh, you said that oh, he also no. the kismet, yeah. so... Yeah, so that that's why I'm joking, because, like, on the Kismet, we love boxes. On the Hadfield, oh. we destroy boxes. Yeah. There we go. Or, or they make us turn to the dark side for a bit. Yep. Um, Alright, we can cut to someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, all that's left... Oh, hang on. I'm gonna spend a threat for the other guys. Because they ain't oh, doing too... Oh, to doctor her phaser back since I have mine again. Okay, good. That works. Yep. So they ain't doing too hot. They're still not doing too hot, damn it! Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Uh doesn't seem like anyone there's doing too good. Yeah, that that's in that's gonna break even. Just no one gains any ground on that one. Oof. I'm all gonna die. <laughs> uh okay, uh Valak, you're up. Cool. I'm going to try and disable this field here. Control engineering difficulty two. I'll give you one threat. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. And you succeed. Uh, what was your focus? Uh, I assume my transporter focus would apply for the dampeners for transporters. Uh, let me look at your focuses, Vlock. If not, I can take that away as one. Let's see. Mm. I'll allow it. Cool. I'll allow it, but barely. It's like it's like my main things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, taking down a transporter. Sh yeah, you're. I'll, I'll allow it under the auspices that you're just tuning the. Uh, you're you're getting the transport frequency. That will let you beam cool. through it. I'll allow that. Or that'll allow you to punch a hole in it. Okay. I'll take that. You do succeed. Yep, and then uh, myself and the security officers will attempt to make our way away from here. Mm-hmm. And try and get to everybody else. Okay. Um. Now for to zone in and Rugon again. Uh, actually, hang on. God damn it! God, Jesus! <laughs> wow. That Guys, this, this, their security here is just awful. Abysmal. God, man. Damn it. Okay, um... I mean, it is the U.S. government, so yeah, security is awful. Whew. 
Uh, so... Hey there, hey there. I thought we were in Canada. Nope. No, 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 we're, we're at Area 51 here. We're in the U.S. Oh. <laughs> yep. Okay. You guys are Naruto running in and Naruto running out. <laughs> um, we're gonna clap some cheeks. <laughs> nope. Uh, so, now for Rugan again. Now you guys can try to cut your way through the wall. Oh, yes. yes. Now we escape. Control I'll help you, Rugan. the other side. Nobody has any control. No. This will be a control security difficulty three. Uh, it will succeed at cost. You can do it, guys. Okay. Just one motherfucker. Oh, oh no. Rugan, you want to spend a determination? <laughs> Yes, uh, Rugan is. Oh. Uh, uh, eager to prove himself. He has been given a time. task. He has been given a task to do. Oh, yeah, or maybe yeah. to absolutely see it through. Yeah, he is absolutely eager to prove himself. Yeah, I'll, uh, or I'll allow mission directive as well. <clears throat> cool. Mission so directive. Just roll one more yep. die. You can do it. Awesome! Yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> As you turn your phaser up to the highest setting and just... <sighs> the wall vaporizes in front of you and you see your uh, you see in front of you uh, a giant stairwell that was on the other side of this two feet of concrete. Indeed, indeed, Lieutenant. I do believe it is time that we were gone. <laughs> and the two of you yoink out of there as you hear from behind you you hear like people banging on the door behind you Zoidberg <laughs> okay uh Maselli and Joeza what are you guys gonna do um, well, I, we can't really help with the site or the engineering thing, so I assume we just want to find a place to hide because they're looking for choice. Does that sound like a good idea? Uh, Joeza would want to go and find the others and make sure they're okay. Um, but, you know, you're the uh, ranking officer, so kind of have to defer to you. Uh, well, Volok's on the surface, right? Yeah. Correct. Alright, well, we're gonna reach him. Um, and we got to Tev, they're on, they'll be okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the best plan is to go high. What kind of role would that be? Uh, that'd be... Actually, actually, wait. How about we go check in on the time traveler? I... The time traveler? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, the, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, what's uh, his name? Um, Gary. They're not quite... Gary. Yeah, he, yeah, he's not quite he, the normal Earthling, but traveler. an Earthling. Yeah. Knock off Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> God, every time. Um, um, okay. Uh, in that yeah, case, um, for Jueza, it'd be Insight Security Difficulty 2. For you, Maselli, it'd be Insight Security Difficulty 1. Uh, you can do that, Roll. You probably have better Insight Security. Uh... Joyce is not an insightful man. <laughs> yeah, his insight is... Insight security is 13, mine is 11. Would you like a momentum? Um, can I use survival? Sure. Cool. And I guess I'll take the momentum die and hope for the best oh, nice okay. you gain well, two momentum dang. as you round the corner uh you see um a, a man and a woman the man wearing a sharp uh a sharp black suit and the woman uh wearing a outfit similar to Maselli's. hang on a sec 
Um, uh, you round the corner, and the cat hops off of your shoulder and just leaps over to the man's shoulder. As uh, the man wheels back, and he leaps himself back at uh, the foes that they are fighting, and... Sven. Oh, yeah! And uh, he takes a small little device that he has in his hand. You've seen him use it before, Maselli. You've never seen it before yourself, Jueza. But it's a small silvery pen. He clicks it again. And the other two grab their heads and they fall to the ground. Well, that takes care of that. Interesting. I'll take a dozen. Sorry, they're proprietary. Uh, Juisa, this is Gary. He's, um, he, 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 he's, like, here from, uh, he, here to help prevent the timeline from being polluted. Um, mm, Gary, no, I'm not a time Jibisa. traveler. He's our chief of security. Pleasure. My name is Gary Seven. I see you've already met Isis. So, are you the seventh, Gary? Oh, boy. And he looks to Maselli. No, he, he's just... His name is Gary Seven. I see. He's, and... uh, he's a weird one. No offense. Um, Anyhow, we don't have much time. We have to hide these two. Ah... Uh... I think our best bet would probably be to uh, get to the surface where the rest of uh, the rest of your crew is uh, amassing. Teresa, um, um, does it look like Teresa has a similar build to either of the two men on the ground? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, for. Uh, if you want to spend two momentum, uh, he can. I think that's a good idea, right? And then sure, all yeah. we have to do is cover up your nose and do the I broke my nose skit from DS9. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go, there you go. Um, and, 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 and I please. don't will be able to recognize him. Sure, why not? All right, let's do that. Okay. So I'll strip down the, the poor guard. Yeah, well, and, uh, it looks yeah, like and that's you're, uh... and that's part of the advantage. Yep. Yeah. Looks like you're Corporal Ramirez now. Let's go. All right. I get a new uniform. I'm still enlisted. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Um, Vlock, you're now back at ground level. Cool. Oh, and uh, you see, off, and you see off in the distance a number of soldiers just running around in a panic. I'll, uh, <laughs> chat oh boy! My chat huh. my communicator. It's just a crew. I have uh, disabled the. Uh, I have uh, adjusted the dampening field. We should be able to get out. Uh, please make your way to the surface. It seems there are quite a few soldiers heading your way. Yes, sir. Um, Vugan, the zoning, how are you handling the chemosite? The chemosite has been dealt with. Unfortunately, it is not in a state that we can return. It too much has leaked. So, however, we were able to neutralize it so that nothing will remain. So, are we all ready to beam out? Uh, you, I have uh, the enhancers with me here, so we'll have to all be in one location to beam out. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. Um, we go, uh, so that's the end of the round. They're gonna do a thing. Okay, let's see if they do it this time. <sighs> that's a no! Do your damn job! 
got him. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Uh, Rugan to Zonin, you're in the staircase. All right, we are going to Zoinberg the fuck out of there. Okay, you um, make we are your... going to go upstairs. We are going to meet with everybody. Yep, you make your way up, and about twenty feet away. Oh, hey, look. Hey. Uh, Gone to zone in. Yes, what? But, but oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good, gentlemen. Uh, you keep an eye out for the doctor and Juiza. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now it's going to be a matter of you guys finding your way to the surface. Uh, this will be a. Uh, control security difficulty of, uh, sorry, insight security difficulty of three. Alright, well, we've already established you have the best, better insight security. Uh, could I assist? Sure. Uh, and so can Jueza. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. Jueza should make the roll, oh, and yes. yeah. I could assist. Yep, so will Gary. Gary will also assist. Okay. This is insight security again? Yep. Uh, survival still apply? <laughs> okay. I will take the momentum for the extra die again. Go for it. Cool. Uh, that one's Gary, that one's Lincoln. So Lincoln actually crits, and Gary succeeds. So that's another three successes. Cool. So you gain two momentum. As you find your way up to the surface, now it's just a matter of making uh, an opposed check. All I, right, what's I'm the check? Control security. Uh, we're all doing it. Okay, let's do this. Uh, no, no, nope, just, uh, nope, <laughs> just, um, just, uh, Jueza, Gary, Maselli, and Lincoln. So, okay. uh, you can lead to Zonin. <laughs> uh, not to Zonin, Jueza. Uh, survival still work? Mm, sure. Okay, I'll take one momentum for extra dice. Oof. Hey. Ooh, that's not good. So hey, that is, I said it was difficulty three? Yes, and I'm going to so squash that complication with the other momentum we have. So you gain uh, you gain a momentum, but then you spend it in one more to quash the comp. Yep. As ye, uh, you carefully sneak by and, like, you know, uh, uh, Jueza d uh, does the thing where, like, he tilts the hat down over his, he uh, over his brow. Yeah, like uh, Indiana Jones or something. Mm -hmm. Um... And you make your way over to the other three. Uh, Jueza, they don't... Uh, uh, Vlok looks pretty similar to himself, but Rugan and Tazonin, they look very different. Namely, Tazonin has pink skin now. Well, it's an improvement. Hey, listen here, wrinkled mouse. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, Look, my handiwork uh, was very easy, and let's please get out of here before we all die. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, uh... To which they are now the going to hang set on. Set up the enhancers. Yep, hang we on. We can so you set the those minor up. aspects of my handiwork at a different point. Come on. You guys can do it. I believe in you. God damn it. <laughs> hey... Uh, okay, now it's just a matter of someone on the had field needing to make a uh, control engineering uh, difficulty of three check, assisted by the ship's sensors engineering. And this is why I figured we'd be uh, using this later. Mm hmm. Uh, definitely going to use that momentum. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Ow, just I, think, I think he gets a reroll. He does, yes. All right. Nice. Nice. Suddenly, the captain appears. And the ship. <laughs> Sensors engineering. No problem. Okay, that's five successes? Yes, it is. Okay. And you all beam away. And about a moment after you do, like a bunch of soldiers start, uh, a bunch of soldiers like look over and see where the, uh, uh, where the uh, bunch of you just completely dematerialized and they yell as if they're about to start moving closer, but then boom, 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 the three uh, enhancers explode. More yelling, more insanity, no one knows what's going on. As we materialize, I'm going to say, I really hope we didn't kill anyone there. Uh, it should be no problem, Doctor. I've mainly set the charges to destroy the transporters by directing inward. Okay, well that's good. Um, so now comes the real tricky challenge. We have to somehow travel back to our own time. Well, you've all managed to succeed at your goal, correct? Indeed. <laughs> Not that this hasn't been fun, but we have our own business in this time to, uh, to see to. Of course. Of course. Uh, where would you like to be sent? Uh, we can take care of that. And... Uh, Gary takes out his small little pen, clicks it, and after a couple of seconds, hang on. As he does that, can I try and get a scan? <laughs> sure. Uh, roll me insight science difficulty two. His technology is strange. Oh well. What a mysterious man, that Gary Seven. Um. <clears throat> well, I suppose now we need to work on attempting to get back to our own time. Indeed. There. That seems like something uh, you and Lugan would specialize in. Uh, I believe I, I can go over the records and find something to get us back. Uh, Rugan, you want to give me a Reason Science Difficulty 3 check? Indeed. Does theory into practice apply? Uh, no, because this is specifically time travel. I do understand. Can I assist? Yes, yes, even you can. Though that I, even though I investigated the time travel uh, previously, when we were first got here. Uh, not this, not during this session. Yeah, yes. it works for me. We, you do have momentum, though. Yeah, I was going to say, we have three momentum. <clears throat> Alrighty, then. Um, we'll use in, I will, in fact, use momentum. And can I get my computer focus? Uh, no. Sensors. Nope. Nice Wait, try. No, reverse engineering, because I'm reversing the fuckery that brought us in here. No, nice try. Nope. Be because we can't. Quantum do it that mechanics. Way. Quantum mechanics. Who's that? I'll allow. Quantum... Fuck about your time. I'll allow quantum mechanics. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. And 
Uvalok. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, there are a number of ways to do it. Uh, a lot, a lot of them are very, I want to say, dangerous and uh, were definitely one-time, uh, one-off things. Like you could theoretically do something like that with the chemoset again if you had it. Um, uh, but the thing that most readily jumps to your mind, Rugan, is, well, the tried and true way of time traveling for Federation ships. It's not used often, uh, but y you, you could pull it off. Uh, you could use the light speed breakaway factor. Hmm, that is a possibility. Uh, one I was hoping we wouldn't have to use, but... Hmm. Well, uh, Lieutenant Dazonin, I believe uh, we're going to need your expertise. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I... <laughs> So, uh, here's the interesting thing. I am actually going to be using a nifty set of rules that I found on how to use the lightspeed breakaway factor. It's not in any of the books, it's it's homebrew material, but it's really neatly written. It's been in a circle really fast. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> you, you're thinking of Superman. Um... <laughs> uh... Okay, so we will pop up to the bridge where yeah. this is all going to go down. Um, so interestingly enough, this is going to be... So I will tell you to travel the sheer amount of time you need to go will cost a lot of power more power than you actually have in your engines, but Veloc could attempt to make a uh, uh, power uh, power generation roll that because you can actually get more power than yep. your sh engines have. Yep. Okay. So uh, let me just run the numbers uh, to jump four hundred and ten years from nineteen sixty seven. To 2377 will cost. Hang on, 220. Hang on, two. I, I've almost got it. One, one to 25. Uh, so, dun, 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 I think that's. Hang on, almost got it. Uh, it will cost you 17 power. Okay. Your ship only has nine. Yeah. So you will have to generate an additional nine power. Okay. Okay. To somehow pull this off. Oh boy. Um, yes. So we are going to win. <laughs> what talent should I use? <laughs> uh, this will be Veloc doing it because he's doing yeah, the. Yeah, I got you. Oh, for the power. Oh, okay. I yeah, I gotta power. ramp. I gotta ramp up the warp. Uh, our our antimatter uh, engine. It just button. open the flow completely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Mhm. Mm okay going to take three momentum mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to assume uh, my electroplasma system oh, is yes. full of fly. Now it's only the, the difficulty of this is actually isn't that crazy. It's and task power management. Uh, 
control engineering difficulty two. So you generate four momentum. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> uh, you gain one point of power plus one for each momentum spent. We're gonna use all of that as well as. Uh... Say that's four. I want to use it all. <laughs> And I Damn in this in this luck. in this case I will allow you to spend threat. Awesome. Normally you're luck. normally you're not allowed to, but for this uh, for this specific instance I will allow it. Cool, because we're one short, so I will give you one threat, mm -hmm. and the rest of our momentum to mm -hmm. have enough power. <laughs> okay. So that's all your momentum spent. Uh, I have given the ship everything that I can attempt, but any farther, and I do not know what will happen. It should be just enough to get you to 2377. So, here's how this works. First, you need to plot your trajectory around the sun. The navigator will make a reason plus con with a difficulty of three task, you are assisted by the ship's computers and con. All right. Why didn't Tev. I? Why did I expect anything else? <laughs> what? Well, I think I've been failing so hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you. Uh, do you have any determination? I... I think save that determination. Can this succeed at cost? Uh, I will allow this to succeed at cost. How about Yay! Uh, in we fact, save I that think... determination for actually flying at warp ten into the sun? Oh, hang yeah. on, hang on. I'm reading. I'm, I'm. I'm reading up on what this. What. I, what. Because there are things that getting complications will do. Okay. Uh... Or you can just attempt the task again. It just means it'll take another hour. Uh, yeah. I mean, do we need to go now? <laughs> Suppose we can attempt the task again. I think that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> you can. You can do it. I, I believe in you. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. <gasps> Hey! Hey, that's much better. <laughs> and the ship, computer's con, and it can be re-rolled because of Tizonin's thing. But can it be Rick-rolled? Nice! Hey! Uh, you gain three momentum. So nice. you're back at three. So uh, it, it takes Tizonin a uh, little bit longer uh, to, to work it out. It is... Um, the uh, you, a ship like this has never performed the light speed breakaway factor at such a high speed. Um, there, you know, a lot of unknowns. Uh, but he thinks he's got it figured out. Uh, very well. Uh, so next thing Go I'm going to do. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Okay, what am I rolling to same roll? Uh, hang on. Hang on, I got you. One sec, he's, he's figuring it out for us. Well, <laughs> Just it's... Just add the clock buffering. It's, a, it's I'm bringing you guys to this map. Oh, cool. We see it. So. Uh, Earth local system. As the Hadfield starts to pull away from Earth and makes a beeline towards the sun. That's Venus. Not, not pictured. <laughs> Oh, pictured. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a beeline for the sun, not pictured. You just have to, uh, you just have to imagine it. Um, Actually, okay. this game is uh, from a textbook written twenty years later, and this is just a screenshot from that. That's why it's just not pictured. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Uh, so you uh, let me read this. The pilot next has to uh, build speed towards source. The pilot next has to gradually increase the ship's impulse speed as it approaches the calculated vector. Moving at warp speed towards a gravitational source will shear the ship to pieces, something that might happen anyways after any mistakes. 
The pilot attempts a control con check with a difficulty of three, assisted by the ship's engine's con. Uh, this step has a power requirement of two. Well. <clears throat> and once you, uh, I will say, once you do it, um, Veloc, you could also, uh, you could also try to do a power management check. Cool. Okay, um, sorry, what was the roll again? Uh, this is a control con check, difficulty three, okay. assisted by the ship's engines con. I would like to take momentum. Okay. Three dice. Alright. Uh, yeah, don't, going... you, don't you also have daring, should you not give him threat? I have bold con. Exactly. I mean, I have bold, that's what I meant. Yeah, so you should give him threat. Yeah. Oh, I'll take, give you a threat, then. Mm -hmm. I take a threat. And I'm going to roll now. Did nice. I win? Uh, that's hey. the three, three successes you needed. And hey. Uh, actually, I will let you spend two momentum to waive the power cost. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's how I'll run that. Um... Oh, great. Okay. As you feel your ship rattling all around you, as you enter, as you watch like the the horizon of the sun, uh, whizzing past underneath you, you hit the critical point, and it is time to enter warp. Once the ship has entered into its trajectory around the gravity source at full impulse, the pilot needs to enter warp at the precise moment to enter the time stream on a temporal trajectory to reach the year you want. A control con with a difficulty of three, assisted by the ship's engines con. This step has a power requirement determined by the time traveled, which, as I mentioned, 17 power. Yeah, we're, right, we're so cooking. Like, give you another threat. <laughs> You're also going to uh, take another dive with our two momentum. Mm -hmm. Oh, so four in total? Uh, so yes. I am, however, going to spend two threat, because um, you gave me one before, um, yep. and this one yep. now, to uh, increase the complication range by one, and I'm also spending my last two to increase the difficulty by one. So now it's diff four. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Hell yeah! And the ship. Nice. There we go. So that's... You gain four momentum. Cool. Okay. As lights begin to flash all around you, you as you've entered the time stream, zipping towards uh, 2377, uh, you now need to drop out of warp to reach the date desired. Um, are, are you sure this is safe, Commander? It is the only way I know how. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. So, now you need to give me one last Control Con Difficulty 3, assisted by Engines Con, to l exit the time stream at the proper date. Another threat for you, so I have three dice in total. Uh, you're giving me a threat? Uh, should I, or should I just oh, go? Oh, you're not giving me a No, no, I give him a threat, and then I also also take two momentum for yet another Four dice. Next. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And rolling. Hmm. You get one reroll. Hmm. And the ship. Hmm. Uh, and the reroll for the, the ship. ship again. Well, fuck. Christ, determination. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's your what kind of determination do you have? Um. Never tell me the odds. That'd work. Oh, yeah, nice. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right. Roll three. Re -roll one day, uh, two. reroll two. Two. Okay. 
that's uh, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> so now what you need to do is <clears throat> Uh, you need uh, so you will succeed and oh perfect this works perfectly so what you can do is uh, success on this step uh, will bring the ship back into space-time at the date desired plus or minus 3d 20 years after completing the task the pilot can spend up to three momentum to remove a d20 from this roll if three momentum are spent after the successful roll the ship arrives at the precise date all right well let's make sure we keep those three momentum we have well that that's you're at that step now yeah that's oh. what i'm saying so you're gonna spend those three momentum so you arrive at the right date i would like to do that okay yeah. Spend your last three momentum. I will spend a threat so that you guys won't arrive at exactly the right date because this is some. This was a plot thing I had in mind, but uh, same day, huh? Is it the same day? Well, at least you'll see. Or... Oh no! So uh, it's gonna be another discovery ploy. <laughs> We're gonna come back. We're gonna lost the war. Okay, yeah. Um. So just two dice, or is the momentum for more dice? Huh? I uh, said, was the three momentum for extra dice, or were you just uh, the, stealing the, that? The, uh, the momentum that you guys spent was to arrive at the right oh, gotcha. area okay. of time. Because yeah. it's like, the more the more you spent, the, if you didn't, I'd roll 3d20, and you'd arrive either early or late. And, like, that would be what would happen. Uh, so, uh, but because yeah. you didn't, because you spent the three momentum, you did fine. As the Hadfield comes slinging out of the trajectory, and, oh dear, I don't have any of the other, uh, I don't have any of the uh, other tokens that were on here before. So you just have to imagine that, that they're cool. here. Yeah, it's like, right. so ESD, all the ships and everything are all here. And we have arrived. And the captain uh, the captain stands up and he says, uh, Hail Earth Space Dock. And after a couple seconds, uh, a controller comes and says, This is Earth Space Dock. Is this, is this the Hadfield? Yes. Quite so. Yes. Oh, wow. You're, you're back. We had no idea what happened to you. How long were we gone? Oh, jeez, Captain, I didn't even notice you slip in. <laughs> yes, you did. I, I totally missed that. Um, <laughs> we've gone to Platt. <laughs> it's my, one of my favorite freaking movies. Um, it's great. so good. Uh, I'm surrounded uh, by assholes. Uh, uh, so, so uh, Captain, you asked how long were we gone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've been gone for well over seven weeks, Captain. Seven weeks? Yeah, Are you we... Sure? In... We were just a day. Barely so. Yes, we initiated a search after the uh, strange anomaly. Uh, we believed it was something temporally related. Uh, the Department of Temporal Affairs took over, and that was the last we heard of it. Excuse me. Uh, uh yes. We're here now. Did we at least manage to unload the cargo? Um, uh, not quite, sir. If I control, do you still want the cargo? We don't have the cargo anymore, sir. I, I I'm, I, I'm afraid it's been destroyed and it's now decomposing in the basement in Area 51. Well, okay. Any news since we were gone? Uh, there are a few things that you should be updated on. Uh, please, Doc, and we will upload uh, the latest. Uh, we will update your computer core. All right, let's the zone and proceed to Doc, please. Very well. And Tizonin brings the ship in to Doc. Um, and yes, as said, uh, uh, you get a upload on your computer. Uh, uh, on the ship's computer, as I will tell you now, since you wanted to keep apprised on the situation, 
uh, you will have received notification that uh, in the Klingon Empire on Quonos, uh, Captain Harmon Grennan beat the charges against him. Nice. A shame, but go on. <laughs> oh! Yikes. <laughs> Youch. <laughs> Well, that's, that's like, the big news, because that was, like, something that you said you wanted to keep uh, looking into. Sure, but we yep. were gone for seven weeks, so what news from the Eastern Front? Uh, the, uh, oh, are you talking about the Tholian Front? The Tholian Front. Ah, uh, yes. Um, that situation has, uh, well, for better or for worse, stagnated. It's a standoff. The Tholians have who's their forces built. the trigger first? Huh? Who was looking to pull the trigger first? Exactly. Um, did, uh, did, did Starfleet inform our families that like we were dead? Or did the uh, Temporal Affairs Department for, keep us all under uh, pressure? For the past uh, seven weeks, um, the Hadfield has been consider has been listed as missing in action. Okay. Oh, well, that's lovely. I'm sure everyone from my family has been very concerned. Do we have any update on our orders now that we're back? Uh, the Admiralty will have to uh, take that into consideration. I'm sure they'll have some job for you now that you're back. Uh, we'll keep you updated, Hadfield. Well, that's grand. Well, crew, I think if everyone's not against it, we can go enjoy some free time at last. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you do receive a communication shortly after, uh, maybe a few minutes after uh, command hangs up. Okay. A transmission uh, coming from uh, coming from the planet uh, New York City. From the planet. Yes. <laughs> Earth. Yep. Uh, yep. On screen. Uh, on the screen appears a man. Um, maybe his mid to late 30s. You've never seen him before. Uh, I have the description. Max gave me the description. Oh my god, is this like Gary 15? Uh, is he really like the doctor? Did he regenerate? Uh, hang on. Okay. Not quite. Uh, no. Tall man, about 6 foot 3. Uh, he has brown... Uh, uh, brown hair, deep brown eyes, looks very, uh, very sharp, very sharply dressed, black business suit, um, and sitting on his shoulder is a white cat. Oh, boy. With a, ah, with Mr. a diamond Gary, collar. Mr. Gary, I presume, I'm sorry, I... Victor. Number. Victor. Victor 7. Victor 7... Pleasure. I so, can tell by the cat. What happens to Gary? Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm Gary's, um, I suppose you could say descendant of sorts, not biologically speaking. Has Gary met his biological end? Yes, yeah, so, oh, of course, he's merely human. Temporal. Merely human for someone who knows transporter technologies in the late 60s. I would say he's much more than that. Anyhow, uh, this call is something of a courtesy. Uh, somehow, you folks in the 10th Expeditionary Fleet somehow keep finding yourselves entangled in the affairs of the Sevens. Meaning what? Uh, meaning that you all lead very interesting lives. Uh, I, however, would like to thank you for all the work that you've done preserving the timeline. Uh, time travel is a very messy thing, one that I do not like to get myself involved with. I thank you for the fact that you did not make me get involved with it. Yes, well, we learned a lot from Kirk. You know his shenanigans, I presume. All too well. Was there anything else, Mr. Victor? No, that will be all. However, uh, I would say, don't be a stranger. Well, 
You too, Mr. Seven. You too. Uh, and calm. And calm cuts. Well, I guess now is the time for that well-deserved vacation, crew. Mm-hmm. Woo-hoo! And so you all go about all right, on well. your shore leave. Uh, however, before we end, I do have one thing. Something I don't yeah. normally do. I would like to run a post-credit scene. Oh no! What's happening? What's going on? I'm bringing oh, I'm bringing us to the theater of the mind. It, it is uh, Vlad's temporal vocal band a seven, or is the temporal civil war yes? people unrelated? Uh, you'll, uh, they're unrelated. Okay. Yeah, it's just a separate thing. So, we pick up <clears throat> Pentagon, 1997. A man, okay. uh, two men in army uniform walk down a hallway toward an elevator. Uh, hang on, I had the thing. Uh, uh, hang on. No, that's not the one. Damn it, I had it. on uh, here's the name of it got it um uh he walks down a hallway and turns to him and says uh so you finished with the interrogation uh uh b -b 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 oh, damn it i just I, I again had it um not the teacher God, this is killing me. Uh, okay. Um, so, you finished interviewing Ms. Robinson. What did she have to say? Oh, something absolutely crazy. You, you wouldn't believe it. She was talking about how... Uh, 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 she was talking about uh, Henry Starling. Uh, about how he stole some crazy spaceship and that's how he built his empire <laughs> how crazy oh well not as crazy as you might think there's a reason that i pulled you off of uh um off of corporate investigations in the cia you stumbled on something really interesting there with uh mr starling and what would that be uh we believe that mr starling was indeed in possession of some kind of a spaceship uh, we found evidence of another ship of another type. You're kidding. Extraterrestrials? Indeed. And he presses a button in the elevator, and the elevator starts to descend. Uh, the, uh, the numbers ding, 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 bye. Uh, and eventually stop when it hits 14. The door opens, and he walks out. Have you ever heard of the Majestic 12? What, the crackpot alien thing? No, no, no. It's real. We're a real organization, and I'm the head of it. You are. Yes, I took over after Mr. Wainwright uh, retired back in 86. Uh, you see, he was part of a group that uh, first encountered aliens in Roswell, New Mexico, back in 1947. Ever since then, Majestic 12 has been looking into extraterrestrial encounters. So you mean aliens actually exist? Yes, they do. Uh, and he points to an uh, he points to a room that's numbered five. Uh, <clears throat> this room is where we store all of the artifacts that we've recovered over the years. He opens the door and um, uh, points to uh, a couple of glass cases, uh, one of which contains these just absolutely burnt out remains of what looked to be three cylindrical items these were recovered back during the <clears throat> these were recovered back during 67 uh, we don't know what they were for or how they work but they were left behind after an explosion at area 51 uh, but here in majestic 12 you're gonna learn a lot um, and he leads him down the hall uh, past a number of other numbered doors 
uh, and he eventually reaches the end of the hall, opens the door in what looks to be a big command center, a uh, big holocraft, a big table in the middle of the room with a big display on it, uh, much more advanced than anything you'd expect out of 1997. And he says, we've been tracking a number of incidences over the past 50 years. And he points at a few different uh, notations. For instance, uh, there's a picture of uh, Roswell, New Mexico, says, you know, uh, Roswell NM, 1947. Then he points to another one. Carbon Creek, Pennsylvania, 1952. Then he points to another one. Uh, transcript. Uh, uh, Jim Christopher, uh, UFO Encounter, 1969. Uh, Shag Harbor, 1967. And there's a picture of sort of a rectangular blob with sort of these bits poking out the back of it. And as you may know, we just had an encounter uh, last year, and he pulls up a, uh, pulls up an image that's, uh, it's sort of a vaguely spade-shaped image with two rectangles coming off the back. We don't know what these aliens want, but we know that, uh, they're going to be coming for us in the future, but we're going to stand against them. We are? Yep. Humanity may not know it, but us here are their first line of defense, their only line of defense. And this is where we draw the line, here at the Pentagon. Welcome to the Pentagon, subsection B level 14, section 31. And that is where we will end the episode. What? <laughs> Um, cut it, cut it, cut it. I thought section 31 